Hi everyone. So today we'll discuss different types of standards used in measurements. So first understand what exactly this standard is. See all the measuring instruments are manufactured by taking reference to these standards. Means standards are not actually involved in measurements, but yes, the measuring instruments are manufactured with reference to these standards. For example, if I want to measure the size of this workpiece, this side is 10 mm. Then which measuring instrument we can use to measure this 10 mm side? Simply, I can take measuring scale because measuring scale itself is a measuring instrument. So with the help of measuring scale, I'll be able to measure this side. Okay, but who has defined this measuring scale that this is a 30 centimeter distance or the distance we know that the distance between two lines of this measuring scale is 1 mm. So who has designed, decided this distance? Who has defined this distance? So the standards has defined. So the scales of all the instruments is well defined by the standard only. So how one can define standard? So standard is something which is set up and established by an authority as a rule to measure the quantity and quality. So now let's turn toward different types of standards. So the first type of standards are line standards. These standards are used to manufacture the instruments. Those can be used in linear measurements, maybe a length. So according to these line standards, maybe two lines have been specified and the distance between these two lines or two ends is a standard distance. So in line standards, we will be having two subtypes. First is standard yard and second is standard meter okay we'll start with this standard yard so whatever diagram you'll be able to see here which reflects this standard yard so this is basically a bronze bar maintained at 62 degree faraday's see these standards are maintained in very careful conditions and well controlled atmospheric conditions so here you'll find this bar is of 1 inch cross section and 38 inches long and you'll find that on two sides gold plug is there and on this gold plug three transverse lines are engraved and two longitudinal lines are engraved so this is a magnified view so the distance between this central transverse line as you can see here this line and similarly similar gold plug is also mounted here so the central transverse line and this central transverse line so distance between these two lines is nothing but one yard see yard is a unit which can be used to measure the linear dimensions maybe length so one yard is nothing but 36 inches or for example three feet so this bronze bar or we can say standard yard is preserved somewhere in the world so when you have to manufacture the instruments you have to just take a blank material you have to just place that material here and you have to according to these lines with reference to these lines you have to engrave lines on these materials so this will reflect this distance is one yard and accordingly you can divide in the divisions so in this way basically the instruments have been manufactured with the help of this one yard see this these are considered as primary standards there are something like secondary tertiary standards so with the help of these standards not directly the instruments are measured but yes some secondary tertiary standards are measured and based on that basically the instruments can be measured so now we'll move toward the second type of this line standard which is standard meter so here as you can see this is international prototype meter cross section which is specified or invented by the tresca so this is the prototype where you'll find that some polished surfaces are there on these polished surfaces some lines are engraved and the distance between these two lines is nothing but one meter or 100 mm however some other distances like this is a standard distance 16 mm and this is 16 mm so the material used to manufacture this standard is platinum iridium alloy so the platinum used is 90 percent 
and this iridium used is 10 percent and these standards are preserved in the world in specific atmosphere or well controlled atmospheric conditions so basically it is maintained at zero degree centigrade and at atmospheric pressure or atmosphere other atmospheric conditions so the next category of standards is subdivision of standards so according to the importance of standards standards can be further divided into primary standards these standards are not for ordinary purposes or preserved in most careful conditions we have discussed about this yard and meter so this belongs to the primary standards and these standards are used after 10 to 20 years for what in comparison with the secondary standards means to keep secondary standards uh, accuracy these primary standards are used so the second category is secondary standards these standards are also preserved in some careful conditions and this is also not for ordinary purposes or frequent use these standards can also be called as calibration standards because these standards are used for calibration purpose we have discussed about calibration in previous lecture to, to check the accuracy of the instruments these standards will help so these standards are not widely used in the industries so somewhere these are preserved in some standard labs and whenever the instruments required to go for calibration these standards are used for calibration purposes so secondary standards by taking the reference to the secondary standards tertiary standards are made tertiary standards so these standards can also be called as inspection standards means these standards are used for inspection purposes so these standards can be frequently used in the industries see tertiary standards are not the instruments but yes in some specific intervals we can use this inspection standards to check the accuracy of the working instruments okay so tertiary standards can be frequently used for inspection purpose and the last subtype of these subdivisional standards is working standards so working standards are actually involved in the measurements by operators means working standards can be called as instruments those actually used in the industries for measurement purpose or actually handled by the operators so basically these working standards are copy of tertiary secondary and primary standards but yes it is made up with the low cost or the low grade material is used so the cost of instrument manufactured is less and low grade material is used to manufacture these working standard or instruments okay so now you can identify the flow when working standards are frequently used they need to be inspect with the help of this tertiary standard or inspection standard at frequent intervals maybe after week two weeks etc right but at specific intervals maybe after one year two years these tertiary standards need to be compared with the secondary standard to maintain whether or to see whether the accuracy level is maintained or not then the secondary standards is again compared after 10 to 20 years with these primary standards to ensure the accuracy of these secondary standards now moving toward the third category of standards and which is end standards these standards are also used to measure the length but instead of using the engraved lines some blocks or rods have been manufactured with fixed distance between two faces for example these types of blocks can be manufactured and the distance between these two faces have been set have been set with the help of secondary and primary standard so this distance is standard distance say 100 mm then there will be different sized blocks the distance between these two faces may be 30 mm so accordingly hundreds of blocks will be manufactured and the standard distance is specified by using secondary or primary standards and we can use these blocks 
for the measurement purpose means end standards are actually involved in the measurements for example consider this is a component or orifice if i have to measure height of this component then simply i have to place this component here and i may take this block and these blocks can be called as slip gauges so i may put one slip gauge here in this way for example if this slip gauge is of 90 mm then again i'll put a small slip gauge over it maybe of 10 mm then maybe of 1 mm maybe of 2 mm and i'll then add all these slip gauges so that i'll be able to get these dimensions height of this block so accordingly in end standard basically we will find that end bars are also there and slip gauges are also there slip gauges are in the form of the blocks and end bars are in the form of the bars so these are basically three major standards used for the measurement purpose in metrology but still i'll just introduce you to the four type of standards and which is wavelength standards this standards is useful to measure the length of waves emitted by different light sources so these are not basically a physical standards so need not to be maintained or need not to be preserved and for standard waves so these components are considered cadmium 114 krypton 86 and mercury 196 these radiations are considered as standard radiation or wavelength standards and there is a conversion like one meter which is equal to wavelength of radiations of this standard elements and into this multiplying factor accordingly we will be able to measure the length of the waves so this was about the different standards used in the measurement purpose in metrology so in next lecture we will start to explain the measuring instruments